Hi everyone, in this tutorial we are going to use Curvy Splines to make a generated mesh uh, conform on top of uh, another collider, in this case uh, a terrain collider, and later on make an object move uh, on top of that road. Um, so let's start with uh, a solution that is not the right solution for our use case, but that might be helpful in other circumstances. That solution is to select the spline, or should I say select the control points of your spline, and then use the project camera tool, which will uh, project every control point. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, five of them. Project every control point of your spline towards the direction that the camera is looking at. I'm speaking about the Sen view camera, not uh, a camera game object in your hierarchy. And then for every uh, control point, if, the, if it hit any collider, that control point will be moved to the position of the hit. So to show you an example where not all control points hit, as you can see, these, those two ones, um, they don't hit anything. They don't have this like small red circle and the three others do. So when I click on OK to validate, here you can see those three are now on top of the terrain. So let's cancel this and use this top view and repeat the operation operation and here as you can see we don't have a sat satisfying results because uh, those this control point and this one are indeed on top of the train but what's in between them is going through the train so what we need is a solution that will not project only the control points but uh, project uh, points in a regular manner on along the the path or the spline uh, so that solution is the conform uh, the conform path module so here we have a curvy generator which is quite standard and we are going to add a module a conform path the output of this module will be the input of my shape extrusion. So nothing changed yet because this module will uh, is asking for uh, a layer to recast against, whereas the other solution I showed you doesn't uh, like recast against everything. Uh, so I'm going to, my terrain is part of the terrain layer, so I'm going to use the terrain layer. I don't recommend to use everything because you might hit the mesh you are generating through this generator or any other uh, collider you haven't thought about. So up here, now as you can see the result is way better than before, but still we have issues here and here. And that's because we don't have enough sampling points on our path. So because I'm using the optimize option, uh, the shape extrusion tries to minimize the number of those sample points. Uh, but in my use case, I would like more sample points. So I will remove the or disable the optimize option. And here things are way better. And as you can see, if I reduce more the resolution, we have the problem, but with higher resolution, we don't have it. So yeah, that's basically it. You have other parameters that you can, which usage you can see through the tooltips or the the documentation you can access through this help button. Uh, I have here a capsule game object that is that can move on top of the 
projected road uh, so here I'm using a path controller not a spline controller if I use the spline controller it will be moving along the input spline one last information uh, you can project the control points while creating the spline you don't have to do it afterwards so if you look here it says that by holding shift there will be a raycast applied so I'm creating three control points without shift and three while holding shift and you can see the difference so that's it I hope that uh, this tutorial was helpful and have a nice day